Hello guys, this is AB. You are watching my channel Truth and Facts. Today I am going to show you how is the ECR, it means engine control room of a ship, cargo ship look like. So from here we will start. Here we have all the manuals for all the machineries, which is very helpful in maintenance. So here we go. This is a 220 volt feeder panel. All the small small lightning power is going from there only. So here we have is group number two starter panel. On board ship we always have two pumps always for in case of emergency. So I am going to show you all the pumps. This is the main engine fuel supply pump, circulating pump for stern tube, generator fuel supply pump, generator fuel circulating pump, engine room fan, LT pump. Main lubel pump. I'll, I'll give a quick look for this 220 volt feeder panel. So here we have all the lightnings which is going on the deck. It is going from there only. All the control panels, 220 volts. It's it's going from here. This is main lubel pump, fire bilge pump, ballast pump, main air compressors. MGO transfer pump, low oil transfer pump. So now we have reached to this 440 volt feeder panel. All the big machineries they need 440 volts electricity to run. So here we have this anti healing pump, starter pumps for ME engine, HPU all remote control system, diesel oil pump, preheater, generator, aft machineries, tracing, auxiliary blower, service air compressor, steering gear. So all the breakers are here only. You can see this is number two filter panel. Now here we have control panel for number four generator. We have four generators here. This is a container vessel. This is number three. This is stern thruster control panel, circuit breaker. This is stern thruster, both thruster, both we have here only. Bus and tie thruster panel. Here we have this synchronous panel. So normally whenever we are taking load on generator is automatically. But if we want to take it by manual also we can take it from all this panel synchronoscope. This is a different processor I will explain in other videos. This is generator number 2. This is generator number 1. Now we have this 440 volt feeder panel number 1. Earlier we have seen number 2. Here we have number 1. So different different pumps, purifier cargo holds, reefer sockets, hatch cover reefers, cooling sea water pump, incinerator, ECR, AC. So earlier we have seen this number two group starter panel. This is number one. All the pumps same exactly here here only. Earlier we have seen number two pumps also. Now here we have all number one pumps. This is a control panel for both thruster. This is for stun thruster. This is UPS supply A and B. Here we have this anti healing pump. Now I'm going to show you the screen. So again we have two screens here. We call it Econix. Here you can check everything, main engine parameters, this is the main menu. You can check it for generator, all the parameters. Tanks, you can see different different things are here only. Everything is here, basically you can check what are the pumps running. This is electrical system. This is boiler system. So you can check it out, all the parameters from here only. This is MOP monitor main operating panel for ME engines. You cannot found in all type of engine. This, this will be available on ME only. So here you can get all the process information, set point, fuel index, hydraulic, oil, set point, scavenge pressure. This is the adjustment we can do, normally we do this. 
ऑटो ट्यूनिंग फ्रॉम हेयर ओनली दिस इज ऑक्सिलरी फॉर सिलेंडर लुब्रिकेशन एंड दिस इज ऑल फॉर मेंटेनेंस सो अगेन वी हैव टू एम ओ पी पैनल्स ए एंड बी हेर यू कैन सी द आर पी एम ऑफ आर पी एम इंडिकेटर फ्यूल लॉट इंडिकेटर the telegraph of the ship and see dp unit neptasco now this limang siming this is a new thing here you can get this propeller ka shaft power shaft speed everything we can get it from here viscosity you can set from here from viscosity controller this is all main engine parameters time this is display unit for water ballasting all the ballasting you can check here this is pmi performance monitor for the main engine you can check how much is the p max p mean and pi indicative pressure from here you can take all the performance i mean basically performance of the main engine curves you can check pv curves pt curves pc everything you can you, you can find here only see This is PT, PCV, PV. This is raw data, so it's a very good concept. This is oil mist detector panel. This one is new. This is also on the new vessels. This is bearing wear monitoring system. It will show you how much is the wear and temperature of all the unit. Six F, six A, so five A, five F. 4A, 4F, you can check from here. Look like very complex, but when you work here every day, day by day, you excel yourself by doing the daily routine things, and you become master of all these things. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll keep you updating just a brief overview of the engine, overview of the ship. I'll explain you. Thank you very much for watching the videos.